Hello fellow YouTubers. Uh, welcome to Billy Bob's basement, or actually Billy Bob's sitting room by the computer. Today I uh, wanted to talk to you guys about um, an alternate tuning. Um, a lot of you guys out there may be fans of the B-52s. I know I am. I've been a fan since they came out in the 70s. And they made some pretty cool songs, but I never really played any of them because every version of Rock Lobster I ever saw or heard wasn't right. And um, I saw one on uh, YouTube. The guy did a great job. I forget his name. And he also took the, you know, the strings out. Because I noticed, well, I had the, the record, and you know, and Ricky Ricky Wilson was the guitar player for the B-52s. Um, always underrated, but he did some cool stuff, and um, that nobody else seems to be doing. And so I, I like his sound, and. Uh, so I had this old Tasco from I got from my kid way back when, and he kind of beat the living crap out of it. But I resurrected it to try and make a Ricky Wilson guitar, just to play around with, um, to see. And uh, I've read different things, and got different people have different ideas on the tuning. And I mean, I'm not really sure, but what I did was I just kind of went by ear. So I took the two strings out, and then I and then I got the tuning <clears throat> that way, you know. And I, and they use those last two strings just like they're tuned the same way, just ring out. These strings are super old, so forgive me. Uh, but anyway, I was like trying to learn 52 Girls, because that's a cool song and I wanted to, to utilize it. But, um, but let me just go through a little bit of it. And I just request some feedback from someone who might know a little bit more about, you know, this Ricky Wilson tuning, because, um, you know, I, I really, I think I got it, but, you know, who knows. But anyway, um... Well, that's basically what I came up with anyway, just for an example. Now I just kind of put this one by ear to the record and then just kind of went with the Rock Lobster again. And it seems to work for other songs too, like... And then you just... Uh, So, I mean, I don't know, he wasn't a real learned guitar player, and apparently he got rid of these strings because they bothered him. But I, I don't really know the whole story. I think Keith Strickland was the drum player for the B-52s, and um, he knows the tuning. But I don't know if he shared it with anyone. Um, oh, and like, um... Forgive me on that one. But anyway, I'm still playing around with it. Um, but yeah, any feedback's great. If you know the tuning and you want to share it, that would be awesome. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. And uh, have a great day. Remember, Ron Paul for President 2012.